The goal of animal shelters is to find forever homes for their animals. Unfortunately, companion animals are sometimes returned to the shelter based on a variety of circumstances. Studies don't always paint a complete picture of shelter cat returns. Some studies simplify the reasons why cats are brought back, or they underestimate the number of returns as they only consider cases that occur within 30 days of adoption. This study sought to understand the reasons why people return cats to shelters, focused on factors related to cats such as behavioral problems, as well as guardian issues such as housing and allergies. The study also examined the location of a cat before adoption, for example, group housing, single cage setting, or foster care, and differentiated between cats returned in the short term, within 30 days, versus the long term, after 30 days. Data were collected from a large shelter in the northeastern United States, looking at a total of 2,642 cats older than one year. Overall, 12% of cats were returned within four years of their first adoption. Of those, around 91% were returned once, 7% were returned twice, and 2% were returned three times. Of those returned, 85% were eventually adopted again, while 12% were euthanized and 3% were transferred to another shelter or rescue. In terms of the timing of the return, about half of the cats were returned within 30 days. While the vast majority of returned cats were adopted again, cats returned within 30 days were significantly more likely to be readopted than those who were returned after 30 days. The authors identified common reasons why cats were returned. Behavioral issues, personal reasons, including issues regarding a guardian's personal life, including death, pregnancy, or a change in life circumstances. Issues with another companion animal. Medical reasons. Allergies. Cost. Housing. Cats brought into strays and later identified as previously adopted. And other. Cats with a bite history were more than four times likely to be returned compared to cats without a bite history, while cats adopted from group housing were more likely to be returned, followed by cats in single cages and cats from off-site locations. The authors also point out that short-term reasons for returning a cat seem to differ from long-term reasons. While people who return cats within 30 days seem to have issues with their cat adjusting to a new home setting, those who return cats beyond 30 days often experience a change in their personal or financial circumstances. It's not always possible to predict when a cat will be returned, but the study suggests several ways that shelters can plan ahead. For example, it may be beneficial to offer programs that provide assistance with basic needs such as food, affordable vet care, and behavioral training. Guardians who are temporarily unable to care for their cats because of homelessness, domestic violence, or a change in circumstances may benefit from temporary foster programs. Finally, vets and shelters can team up to counsel adopters on the costs of caring for cats, the importance of early bonding, and other important information that will prepare guardians for the reality of living with a cat for a lifetime.